Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to answer some questions for you about how I curl my hair and style my hair, what products I use, and what curling iron I use, and then I'm also going to answer some questions about if my hair is real or not. So first, I'll answer the questions about my hair, and it's not real. So my hair is about this long, and my extensions are about 18 inches cut, and then they're layered. Um, they're called nano extensions. They're these little tiny beads. I don't know if you can see them there, but they're placed all over your head super evenly. They don't use heat. They don't use chemicals. They're actually really healthy for your hair. I've had them for about four years on and off, and my hair grew a lot and actually grew really thick as well. So I just use them for the confidence thing. So I really recommend it to anyone who does have any self-confidence issues and maybe hair issues, they're the best things I've ever tried. Um, I've tried so many different extensions and I'll probably do another video on that eventually. But these are definitely my favorites and I've had no issues, no damage. I love them so much. So keep tuned and I'll show you how I style them. Okay, so I don't really have a thermal protectant that I use on my dry hair, which I should. I usually just pick some one up from Winners, but right now I'm out, and obviously Winners is closed. So um, right now I use the Monet Studio One uh, Thermal Protectant Heat Styling Shield. I just use it on my damp hair, and then I blow dry, curl, straighten, do whatever. Um, after, I know I should be using a dry one, so if anyone has any recommendations on ones that they actually love, um, or smell good, or are really good products in general, please let me know because I am looking. So I just brush out my hair, make sure there's no knots or tangles, brushing it really evenly, avoiding my scalp because I don't want to pull in my extensions. Uh, with extensions, they recommend you to get a brush like this so it doesn't have balls on the end. I recommend this brush to anybody who doesn't have extensions anyway and is trying to grow out their hair. Uh, these brushes really help, so if you do have tangles, they're not breaking through like the ball does. They're just brushing through really nicely and um, breaking through the knots, but like working through them instead. So then I like to take a scrunchie and I like to pull my hair half back. Okay, so starting to curl, I use my curling iron and I start by taking a chunk I try to break the chunks up, so instead of grabbing a chunk that's thick like this on my roots, I try to break it up, just because I find that the curl holds a little bit better. So when I'm curling it, I'm curling away from my face. If little ends come out like that, it's okay, because I don't like to force them, because because of my extensions, the shorter pieces that come out like that are my actual hair, and I don't like to break the ends, so I just kind of let them do their thing when I brush it out. They all look nice anyway. You can see that little curl. And then I'm just going to continue all around. And then I do the same on the other side, but just curling the opposite direction. Okay, so there's the bottom layer curl. I'm gonna take the top layer down. I'm just gonna brush it through with my fingers first. I don't like to completely brush through the top layer with my brush because I like to keep the bottom layer as curled as long as possible before I brush it out so that the curl stays longer. So then I just part it at the back evenly again. And I do the same thing.
product. Um, I usually use a little bit of oil on my hair just to keep it healthy and shiny. I'm super scared of using heat on my hair just because I used to use my blow dryer a lot and it killed my hair and that's why I use my extensions. I am really lucky that my curl lasts about three days. With the extensions, it just prolongs the curl. I use a little bit of hairspray and dry shampoo to finish it and keep the curl lasting a long time. Um, I really love making these videos for you. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like me to make, please write it in the comment section. I can't wait to talk to you guys again and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Oh,